You know, the other day, I was thinking about this, about how, you know how before we mentioned how it was funny that, so, all right, you know what, I, part of what complaint we got, somebody we know mm-hmm. has a felony and they're a teacher, but they can only be a substitute teacher, right? Sure. Because apparently, you know, teachers don't, we, we only have, we, we you know, we'll have felons teach you on the days off. Right. Mm-hmm. right. Well, yeah. How does that make any fucking sense? <laughs> right. But, but, but. Right, then that makes it worse because they have anonymity. Now, no one knows who they are. They're right? just a sub. And they're here and then they're gone. But Along well, with six children. <laughs> <laughs> but, but what made me think of like loophole dumbass fucking laws like that is how when they have all those, I mean, I don't know if it's only Illinois, how the point oh eight drunk driving law. It's like, oh, you know what? You're. You're just buzzed. Go ahead, keep going. You know. Right. I wonder. I wonder. Yeah, that has to be an interesting conversation with a police officer when you bl- blow a point oh seven nine. Yeah. And he has to go, have a good night, <laughs> sir. What if the What if the cops real like, No, this thing is broken. <laughs> Damn it! All right, redo it. Point seven nine eight. All right. Third time's charm. Yeah. But you'd be you'd be losing it. And right. as it goes, because your body would be continually metabolizing. Yeah. I wonder if that's like a a tactic they use that if you're like a if you're like a point seven nine, they'll just like stall for a while. <laughs> it rounds up. Oh. It probably you're right. It probably oh, does round up. Five. Yeah. It's pretty much a point one. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's <laughs> awful close. Yep. What, what, what if what if that's what happens when like they start legalizing drugs? Oh like, yeah, I just shut up once. You know. Well, a, there's keep, a, keep, supposedly they worked on a on a like a pot road test. Really? Yeah. Um, it has to do. I think it. I think it's like a blood test, though. Listen to this fish song and tell us what you think. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, no listening to fish while you're driving and you're high. <laughs> no way. Man, those vibes. You can get those fucking air guitaring and start wow, dancing. Wow, I would it in always the pass that test. Deadly vibes. <laughs> yeah, <that's> <laughs> what do you think of this fish? Turn it off. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> oh, you're not <laughs> high, I guess. Yep. <laughs> All right. We're going down the wrong path again. <laughs> 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 All right, now I'm pissed off. <laughs> I think you really are pissed off, you pozo. I am not a poser. <laughs> God. I'm just happy we We also I also saw before Slayer I saw Power Trip with Ross. Okay. Which was fucking great. I'm well I I didn't it wasn't to the best of my ability because I had just gotten this job. I work from 5 a.m. to 4 p.m. So cuz cuz we have Fridays off. Mm-hmm. And dude, you fucking go to like this was I said Watain was the most nuttiest show because of the blood and like animal fucking bones. <laughs> sure, sure, <laughs> but yeah. but po- Power Trip is the most violent show. Like, be- because, <laughs> okay, because this oh. this shit is it, it was because because Watain, yeah, there's there's a lot of fear involved, <laughs> <laughs> and Power Trip there's a lot of pain involved because there's every other person is jumping off the fucking stage doing backflips off the and it's a sold out show so it's kind of hard to run out of there when you get kicked in the face you know and of course it's a it's a better view in the back of course you know i'm not going to be in the mosh pit <laughs> i'm not a pose <laughs> so uh, but it, yeah it was a great show um and i don't the only like i think i told bill the only complaints i had so the first two bands were like really want to be fucking okay just like every type of music, there's a certain formula that you have to go to sound good, and Power Trip did it well, and these other bands are just like, yeah, all right, so all we have to do is really heavy beats and then just motivational talk like something a fucking football coach would say to be a hardcore band, you know? And that's what those two first bands... And mm. then... Wait, like I, what? What were they saying? Like what were the songs? Well, you know, straight edge, don't drink, don't smoke, it's joke type shit like... Like just uh, just shit like that, you, you that know. Sounds awful. Yeah, and um, I mean. Also, their philosophy. And that was the most violent show. <laughs> well, do your more? own work. Yeah, right? well, yeah, because it, d- those are the psychos. Right. They have no outlet. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, well, no. What drove me nuts is this band before Power Trip. I, w- I really, I thought it was a fucking joke because I'm sitting there like, what the fuck is this? I'm sorry, you bother me so much, and I know. 
some people may be offended by this, but this band Sheer Mag, it's this like 400 pound chick. They sing like punk. They sing shit. It sounds like Thin Lizzy or like New York Dolls. Every huh. song, it's it's like every song like sounds the movie. fucking same, like a wedding band, basically. Uh-huh. It's not right before a fucking intense band. What the fuck is that? And and she sounds like it's every a bad promoter is what that is. Yeah. yeah. And 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 every single uh like the way she sings, she sounds like every other punk band with a chick like Plasmatics or Distillers. But what bothers me is I'm sorry, in that moment, if you're not going fucking nuts on stage, what are you like offering? You know, I, I think you need because I'm about balance and the yin and yang, like, dude, I'm sorry, image, yeah, you can't be four hundred pounds just slugging on stage and you sing like I you, you know, sometimes image and in adds to the intensity of the song. D- am I wrong? Like, that's that's no, what made... Glad you're a performer, yeah. Yeah, that's what makes it a show instead of just a concert, you know? if I don't know if her weight necessarily dictates that, but if you're not, you know... I mean, well, 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 when you're at a, a stage well, show. Well, well, when you're at a hardcore show where everybody's fucking backflipping off stage and then there's just this chick... And then, and, and like, not moving at all, just sweating like fucking crazy. It's like... What what's going on here? Is this like maybe that's part of the shtick? Yeah, maybe that's the thing. Well, that that's what she said is punk as fuck because everybody hates me because I'm fat. So maybe that is punk as fuck. Maybe that's a new punk. Maybe huh? I don't know. Um, I just I, all I can say is the, bit, all yeah. I can say is there's uh, you know some bands the music sucks but the performance is great and vice versa and there was just nothing good about the band. I don't know why they <laughs> were like it's <laughs> oh, sh- holy shit. Like, <laughs> and no, no redemption for them. Nope, no regrets. Like, it's just, I don't know. Do you think you maybe just hit her because she's fat? No, no, it's no. I I tried looking away and listening. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, I'm being, I'm I'm fucking around. No, but no, I'm being serious though. Like. <laughs> the 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 music wasn't it was just it sounded like 70s fucking rock ripoff you know like mm-hmm. and not to mention if that's your influence because that's what it says is the influence i'm like oh i read the influence that it kind of does sound like thin lizzie and new york dolls and that 70s but it, but if i don't i think it's the best when you're like i'm gonna write music that best expresses what i'm feeling and just whatever the fuck comes out that's the best thing to do rather than well, I'm a huge fan of Slayo, so I'm going to sound like Slayo. No, I mean, even like like when I had my psych band, I, I still listened to a lot of crazy fucking shit all over the place, but I felt like I was best at writing psych music. Sure. And performing yeah. and performing it too. Beca- and, and, and that's why I'm not speaking from like some bratty fucking fan sense, like she should move around more, she should jump into the fucking crowd and not kill somebody. But <laughs> like... Like, <laughs> but, but, but I mean, like, I, you know, when I was in this, I know this from experience, like when I was in the psych band, I was like, you know, I'm not a good guitarist, but I know how to put songs together well. So when I write the bass with the guitar and, the, and I put everything together, I'm a good songwriter, but it adds to go nuts on fucking stage. And it would bother me when it, it that looks awkward when I'm the only one going nuts and the rest of the band is like falling asleep. Yeah. Like oh yeah, uh, bi- no. Me and John saw uh, Brian Jones Town Massacre two weeks before that, I think, right? Yeah. And that was fucking amazing. And the band before them, uh, this band Stevenson Ranch Davidians. I mean, yeah, they had like uh, three awesome songs out of ten that were the rest were kind of okay. And they had like a bassist that's just like sitting there on the amp not moving at all, not doing anything. She looked fucking miserable. They, they, they're even like, all right, everybody give it up for our bassist. And she gave like this fake smile, kind of like, you know, that look when you accidentally fart? Like, <laughs> like, like it's, it, it, it fucks up the show. I don't know. I'm saying they didn't, do, they didn't do a good job at putting like, okay, we're, we listen to 70s rock. We're going to have a 70s rock band and not give a good performance at all. I, d- I don't know. Well, you know, the <laughs> this is it's funny that this is actually true. The worst band that I've seen lately was a band of a similar vein took heavy influence from several other bands, and that's all they tried to do. 
Um, mm-hmm. It just so happened that their heavy influence was from the Grateful Dead and Fish. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not even kidding, too. That's the beauty of this. Is this is real? Uh, the the last show I was at a few. Uh, uh, this was like a month or two ago. There was one of the worst bands I've ever seen, and it was it was them. This like jam band, local jam band. Yeah. That tried to shove together all of the techniques of like the four most famous jam band, you know, Fish, Grateful Dead, Almond Brothers, and uh, widespread panic. No, uh, Government Mule is what I was thinking. Okay. But and they is Government Mule local? No. Okay. No. Um, I don't know where Government Mule is. Do you know? Mm-mm. Oh. But um. And just it was awful. It was like it was basically them just trying to trying to to take any technique that they've heard these guys do and push them all into one forty-five minute song that everyone hated. <laughs> It was aw- I've I've never heard I've never heard a crowd clap louder because they were glad they were done. Not for like not you know at the end of somebody's set you clap because like to thank them for their performance. Mm. We were clapping because the next person was coming on. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you had been at Wrigley Field and if you had seen <laughs> Dead and Company, oh, yeah. it would have changed your life, man. Like so fucking good. I don't know, man. I've seen I've seen the album or. or saw the almond brothers i think seven times and i don't and i saw a rat dog play with them that's bob weir no yeah and i don't know i don't i'm not a fan of the dead never really i've been a fan of dead i don't like the i respect uh them but i don't like it okay all right i don't like jerry garcia's playing style i don't like the scales he moves in and out of it is it? Do you think it's like uh, repetitive? No, Kinda I like think it's too meandering, and I think like it's formless to me. Is it? Ha- is it? It goes without. It goes without shape. It doesn't have any real purpose in my like imagining of it. Mm-hmm. Is I listen to it, and it's just no, it's just sound, sound you know put together by a masterful you know instrumentalist but without yeah. purpose and you know i i hate to say this or i don't mean to cut you off but but i'm going to because <laughs> i'm a pozo no but i mean i've always found it i I, th- I don't know if we talked about this before that i feel like a lot of great guitar people who are amazing at guitar end up not really writing well music like when you go to like i go to it made me feel so bad when I was a fucking kid when I'd go to like guitar center or even like a pawn shop and they'd be like, Oh yeah, you want to get this guitar? Like fucking amazing. So they're just showing, yeah, look at this is good for this. And they're just fucking pulling off all. I'm like, Oh, I just came here. I was going to buy that to play some green day, you know, like, (laughs) and, and, and and they're fucking doing like some crazy, you know, solo Stevie Ray Vaughan solo. And sure. And then I realized, like, all these guys well, are such perfectionists that they won't be able to write something that is... Well, it's two different skills. Yeah. It really... Like, song... Your, being being able... Being a player and being a songwriter are just... They're it's two like, different fucking It's like fucking being spirit, You know, feeding the spirit or just being robotic. You know, like, oh, I can... Yeah, play. sort of, yeah. Because, uh, you know, pra- the... You can practice anything and be great at it, but that doesn't give you the creative edge. Like, because mm-hmm. uh, all that's muscle memory. You know, it's spe- particularly with, uh, you know, with guitar and finger control and speed control, it's, it's mm. all muscle memory. You can do that with no soul. Uh, listen to jazz guitars. <laughs> 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 but uh, sorry, personal <laughs> personal uh, oh, it's taste like, it's, thing. It's, it's like but, uh, <laughs> my, my boss, Joe. <laughs> Es nest nam